That is singer-songwriter Sierra Farrell with Dollar Bill Bar off her new album, Trail of Flowers. Rolling Stone is called the 35-year-old one of country and roots music's most fascinating and fastest rising artist. She's touring alongside Avett Brothers and Zach Bryan this summer, but Farrell's road to this moment was unconventional. As Anthony Mason can only show us, the only thing more amazing than her voice is her story. How would you describe your sound? I always joke and say it's the, the life-changing kind. Sierra Farrell's life started changing about six years ago when she played here at American Legion post 82 and a buzz started to build around Nashville. What did that feel like? It felt ecstatic. <laughs> <laughs> It led to a recording deal and her debut album. It's kind of funny how the attention comes because it's like nothing, nothing, nothing all at once. Also, like, thank, thank you, Lord. When did you start singing? Since I could talk. Yeah. <laughs> I was a pretty annoying child. <laughs> <laughs> I can drop you crazy, yes I can. The daughter of a single mom, Farrell grew up poor in West Virginia. In her early 20s, as the opioid epidemic was spreading there, she fled. Why did you leave? I left because I feel like I've always had a wild side to me. Yeah. And I knew that if I stayed there, I probably wouldn't still be alive. Yeah. And so I left and searched for maybe myself, maybe to find out what else there is, maybe even a reason to live. Farrell and a friend started hitchhiking. The very first person that picked us up, he pulled out this knife that was in a sheave and he handed it to me and he's like, take this with you, you're gonna need it. Did you need the knife? I did. Because for one, if you have bad intentions, I'm not scared to use it, yeah. but also you need it for snacks. <laughs> <laughs> well, take the path down to the river. When she wasn't hitching rides, Oh, another one. I know another one. We got two. She was hopping trains. And they changed the crew out. Right. And, and that's where you jump on. That's where you want to be, because you don't really want to jump on a moving train. So you rode for, for days, for weeks? For weeks sometimes. It felt like I was an outlaw. I felt more free. Ain't no use for you. Keep on hanging around. For years, she traveled north to Chicago, west to Seattle south to New Orleans, busking on the street to get by and relying on the kindness of strangers. What's also crazy about that scenario is it's usually the people who have less that give you something. Yeah. Because they know what it's like. Yeah. You know, a lot of the people who are travelers, they're usually running from something. Yeah. Or... Were you? I mean, maybe. What do you think you might have been running from? Maybe addiction, maybe uh, past, past experiences. But they caught up with her. You almost died. I died, I did die. It was during a trip home to West Virginia, Farrell says. And I had a relapse with a friend who's also gone now. That she accidentally overdosed. I just like collapsed on the floor and I looked up and like Chris was like smacking me in the face and he's like, Sierra, wake up. And it was like time didn't exist anymore. And then before I knew it, I was in the corner of the room and I was looking down at yourself the, at myself. And so there's like this pin of light above me and it's starting to get bigger and bigger. And then all of a sudden, all my feelings of fear, and they, they were gone. And the only thing I knew that existed was pure bliss. And I saw these figures in a circle and they knew who I was. And they're just like, come be with us, come to us. It's time, come home. Ultimately, what did you make of all that? I feel like I'm not very scared of dying. I'm not very scared of what's after this. Farrell finally tired of traveling, settled in Nashville and started therapy. 
Taking accountability is huge. Miraculously, things in your life just start to happen better. I take better care of myself. Stop drinking from the bottom shelf. But my On her new album, Trail of Flowers, you hear the wisdom of a woman who's lived by her wits. I needed to get that wildness out. It kind of really like grounded me. It's funny, isn't it? Yeah, it's funny how that works. Yeah. And I feel like it helped characterize even my voice, perhaps. Yeah. Give it that maybe that specialness, that sort of longing, or maybe even the sadness that is in some of my music. Guys like you are with dime a dozen. You should count your lucky stars. But there's also a joy in your music. Yes. Well, you know, you got to go through the sadness to appreciate the joy and to know what the joy can give you. Yeah. And a great sense of humor, too. <laughs> Thanks. It's the trauma. <laughs> 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 That's what art's all about, folks. Uh, this is a really special album by an artist who is coming into her own at the age of 35. Mm. I mean, it's been interesting to watch the comments on social media when we posted a clip last night. So many people who've seen her live say it's like the best concert they've ever seen. She's that kind of a live performer. Just watching her sing by the American Legion post, I was getting chills. Yeah. I mean, there's something special in her voice, even the first time I heard it. And I was wondering, what is it? That's, That's what, it, what is. it is. Well, it's so interesting to hear her say that uh, you got to get through the sadness to appreciate the joy. You looked at me because I've always said that. Mm -hmm. yeah. The worry I have is that you understand that addiction for some people is an everyday struggle. Yes. It never goes away. Right. And you don't want to see somebody with so much talent, with so much talent end up like Jimmy or Janice or Kurt or yep. Amy. Right. Yeah. Um, where is she in that journey? Every she day? seems to be in a really good place. Look, you know, you can never you, you can never be sure because you're not actually living with the person. But she seems to be in a really good place. She's managing this really well. And, and her career is just taking off. All the artists I know want to perform with her. Yeah. Such soul and, and clearly very resilient.